Please. Something in French. Please. Can I say please in French? You're back. Please. 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 I think he yelled something back. <laughs> For those of you who just got here, because it's the beginning, and nobody was here before this, they're yelling at the French exchange student, please, to come in and, and be a part of our little get-together here, our, our soiree in the shower. <laughs> so, for those of you who weren't here earlier, Elisa Jimenez, you were here. Yes, I see you. Uh, we had the shower girls uh, letting us know that two of them, because one of them got scared, got piercings today. And so we thought maybe that would be the topic of what's going on here. We'll see. Shower girls have questions. That's kind of like... Uh, Honey badger, don't care. Shower girls. So, who has... I'll be talking to them. You guys tell me, can you hear me when I'm looking at them? Piercings and tattoos? That's what the question is. Yes, boo-boo. Butterfly girl, what's going on here? Ha ha ha. So, you guys tell me, can you hear me? If I turn my head toward the shower girls, can you guys hear me? Lisa Menes, yes. Lindsay Antoine, fingers crossed, boo-boo. Where are the piercings? Well, we'll, we'll talk about the ones we can... <laughs> Lisa Menace says yes. Okay, so who has a question? I do. Grace has okay. a question. I want to talk about keloids. Keloids. This is. Can we show some keloids to the people? Yeah, actually, I have like a tiny one. Okay, keloids are can hypertrophic scars, which means a scar that grows yeah. real thick after it, it it's happened. <laughs> and so you have to put your ear like right against this it's thing. It's like right. I don't know if they can see it or not. But, I don't know. But you try your best. Is it on the back? Uh, there's one on the front, a tiny one. Okay. And there's some so, on the back. So can you guys see those bumps on, on Grace's ear? I don't know if my ear's showing. So, but it, there's keloids. There. Some, people, some people keloid more than others. Uh, particularly African American people so oftentimes will have a problem with keloid. Lisa's doing funny things behind the uh, door. <laughs> so there is a treatment for keloids. Okay. Uh, and it is to give a small injection right into the, the scar of a little um, cortisone, a type of cortisone, usually we'll use one called uh, Kenalog. Mm -hmm. Very small dose, and over time it'll shrink down, and the color will usually lighten, and oftentimes they're a little darker colored than the surrounding skin, so that's a good thing. Did you want to show any keloids? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We have got to come up with something different. Is it different. because of the Wi-Fi in here? Is it the Wi-Fi in here? I think so, because I the can't watch signals... videos in here, usually. You... <laughs> 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 oh, you're doing your bathroom works. Oh, man. <laughs> Was it pierced with a needle or a gun? Needle. They didn't use the gun? Ethan, you want to say hi to the nice people? Oh. Ethan's walking by, as we have a very bad connection, right. to see our four, oh. our audience of four people. Uh, no, keloid are totally diff. They must, she must be answering somebody else on it. And we couldn't get, um, Teo to come in. Okay, now that the audience is building back up, now we're back up to ten. So we're, we're on a roll here. Yeah, keep going, folks. Uh, so, keloids can have this shot. They can't, you, uh, you, like you guys said, Dr. Sandra Lee did it with liquid nitrogen. I've not treated them, uh, with liquid nitrogen, but... Yeah, you could. And Susie Hopper, thank you. We're very glad that you are here. Next question. Okay. This is Grace. No. <laughs> That's Grace. This is Dana. Yes. Um, what is the best way to treat an infected, uh, like, pierce? Oh, okay. So, pierce. infected, <laughs> when, when you have a piercing and it does get infected, of course, we always tell people to keep them clean, and they, they give you the instructions for how to put the antiseptic on, and you like to keep something inside of it. The way to really get rid of the infection is to get all foreign matter out, to take the post out. That's the best way to get the infection to stop. As long as there's foreign material in there, giving the bacteria a place to, to set, yeah. is that the right word? A place to exist, that's putting you at risk for continuing the infection. So you want to get that out, then let the pus drain out. Hopefully it doesn't have to be pierced another time or in a different spot to get the pus out. And then if it's spreading through the skin, but there's not a pus collection, Oral antibiotics. Um, oh. Antibiotics on the surface, like antibiotic ointment, really won't do anything once an infection's in it because it's not getting into where the problem is, but getting antibiotics in the bloodstream so it comes from the inside out toward it, that's going to get rid of the infection. Okay. And let's go with some comments here. So, Boo Boo Kitty, no pics from Lisa. Yeah. Thanks, Boo Boo, for mentioning that. I didn't even want to even mention that. Lynn Burns, sound, no picture. Sorry, Lynn. Everybody else can see, though. 
because we have a good connection now for our 11 people who are watching. Okay, so let's give them a chance for a question if they do. Um, but while they're coming up with one, it's your turn again. Who has one? Speechless shower girls. <laughs> Had you ever thought? Oh, lots of people have no picture. But hey, if you can hear us, that's fine. We can continue. They can the, ask us questions. Well, I think they're going to. About what it's, it's like to be a high school girl. girl. Are any of you still in high school? No. Just colored squiggles. That's okay. Enjoy the colored squiggles if you can hear us. <laughs> and we'll still answer your questions. And you can ask questions of used to be 